So where we left off, we had mu over m0 equals 1 plus uv over c squared over 1 minus uv over c squared, and we had u equals v. Um, so let's do that. Let's replace all the u's with v's over here so we get m0, mu over m0 equals 1 plus v squared over c squared over 1 minus v squared over c squared. Okay? Now I'm just going to rewrite this uh, again using some mathematical maneuvers to get to a certain result as 1 plus v squared over c squared over 1 plus v squared over c squared minus 2v squared over c squared. Again, this is because this quantity is negative 1v squared over c squared, and this quantity over here is 1v squared over c squared minus 2v squared over c squared, which is the same as negative v squared over c squared. Now I'm going to multiply by 1 in the form of 1 over 1 plus v squared over c squared over 1 over 1 plus v squared over c squared. When I distribute this all to the top, I get mu over m naught equals 1 over, I'm going to distribute this to this part first, the 1 plus v squared over c squared, and I get um, 1 and then this to the negative 2v squared c squared. I'm just basically separating this into these two parts, distributing this to this and then this to this. So I get 1 minus 2v squared over c squared divided by 1 plus v squared over c squared. Okay? And now I'm going to rewrite that as 1 over 1 minus 2v over 1 plus v squared over c squared multiplied by v over c squared. I just took the v, this 1v over c squared out uh, and just left it like that. So let me write this over here. So mu over m naught equals 1 over 1 minus 2v over 1 plus v squared over c squared multiplied by v over c squared. Okay? Now, let's look at another equation. Uh, we have u1 equals u plus v over 1 plus uv over c squared. We know that u equals v though, so we can replace the u's with v. So we get u1 equals v plus v over 1 plus u, sorry, v squared over c squared, which equals 2v over 1 plus v squared over c squared. We have this value equals u1, and we have that same value in here. We can replace it and say that mu over m naught equals 1 over 1 minus this whole value over here that's 2v over 1 plus v squared over c squared equals u1. So u1 multiplied by v over c squared. So we have this value now, all right? Now let's look at another uh, little bit. Let's take that u1 equation again over here. Let's say we have u1 equals 2v over 1 plus v squared over c squared. Let's multiply both sides by 1 plus v squared over c squared. So we get, when I uh, multiply it out and distribute the u1, u1 plus u1 v squared over c squared equals 2v. All right? Subtract 2v from both sides. I'm going to write this as this. Negative 2v plus u1 v squared over c squared equals negative u1, all right? Now I'm going to multiply both sides by um, multiply both sides by u1 over c squared. So multiply this side by u1 over c squared, okay? And I'm doing this to achieve a result you will see in a minute. So I get, when I distribute, negative 2v u1 over c squared plus u1 squared v squared over c to the fourth equals negative u1 squared over c squared. And I'm going to add 1 to both sides, okay? I'm going to get 1 minus 2v u1 over c squared plus u1, v, u1 squared v squared over c squared equals 1 minus u1 squared over c squared, okay? Now, what can I do with this? I can rewrite this, actually. It's factorable into 1 minus u1 v over c squared squared equals 1 minus 
u1 squared over c squared. How can I do that? Well, if I square this, let's see what happens. I get 1, sorry, 1 minus u1v over c squared. Multiply by 1 minus u1v over c squared. Multiply 1 by 1, I get 1. Multiply 1 by negative u1v over c squared, I get negative u1v over c squared. Multiply 1 by negative u1v squared, negative u1v over c squared, and minus u1v over c squared. Multiply negative u1v over c squared by itself, I get plus u1 squared v squared over c to the fourth, which equals 1 minus 2u1v over c squared plus u1 squared v squared over c to the fourth. Sorry, there should be c to the fourth. It's the same value, okay? So we've established this, and now I take the square root of both sides, and I get... 1 minus u1 v over c squared equals square root of 1 minus u1 squared over c squared. All right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add u1 v over c squared to both sides and subtract the square root 1 minus u1 squared over c squared. So I'm just switching sides. So I get 1 minus the square root of 1 minus u1 squared over c squared equals u1 v over c squared. I have this u1v over c squared here, and here with my mu over m0. So I'm just going to replace this. So I say mu over m0 equals 1 over 1 minus 1 minus the square root of 1 minus u1 squared over c squared. When I get rid of the parentheses, this becomes a negative, this becomes a positive. Sorry, this isn't negative, just subtracts and positive. The ones cancel, and I get m u over m naught equals 1 over the square root 1 minus u1 squared over c squared. Okay? Now this is big. This is a big, big, big achievement. What this means is that, let, well, let, let's rearrange this quickly. Let's say that m u equals m naught over the square root of 1 minus u1 squared over c squared. So now let's, we're looking at the perspective of A now. A sees M2 as stationary and M1 as moving at velocity U1, right? Or they see M0 stationary and MU moving at velocity U1. And we know that in, in their own rest frames, MU equals M0. But once they move, they don't. So what this means is that in the A frame, the mass of mu equals its rest mass divided by the square root of 1 minus its velocity squared over c squared. So a is watching m not stay here and mu move, okay? And the rest mass are the same, but as they're moving, <coughs> mu's mass appears to increase by one, the square root of 1 minus its velocity squared over c squared. This means that mass is relative. The faster you go, the more massive something seems to be. We can rewrite this as mass equals m0 over the square root of 1 minus its velocity squared over c squared. Again, this is the, not the same velocity that we had up here, but this is just saying the velocity that something is moving relative to a reference frame. This is relativistic mass. Or I don't really like that term, but people use that just to describe it to beginners. Um, <coughs> The main concept here is that if we multiply both sides by v velocity, we get mv equals m naught v over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, or the momentum equals, or sorry, no, let's not write that. Just leave it at this, because um, there's no rest momentum. Um, that momentum equals, um, equals mass times velocity. But in relativity, it's the rest mass times velocity divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared of c squared. And this is very important. Um, once this relationship is realized with uh, relative velocity, um, Einstein's mass energy equivalence can be established through the relationship between momentum and energy. And E equals mc squared can be derived. And that's what I'm actually going to do in one of my next videos. So this right here, this relationship is very important. And in my next video, I'm going to begin deriving e equals mc squared. 
from this. Thank you very much.